hardness of water. The aim of the experiment is to determine the total hardness of water by using EDTA method. There are two types of hardness, one is temporary or carbonate hardness, another one is second is permanent or non-carbonate hardness. Temporary hardness is caused due to the presence of magnesium, calcium, carbonates of magnesium and calcium ions and, per, and these are removed by boiling whereas the permanent hardness is due to the presence of chloride and sulphate ions. These are not removed by boiling. We are going in this experiment we are going to use EDTA, disodium salts of EDTA. We are not going to use EDTA because EDTA is insoluble in water whereas disodium salts of EDTA is soluble in water. EDTA makes strong complex with sodium or magnesium ions whereas EBT indicator forms weak complex. The operators used for these experiments are burette, 250 ml standard flask, disodium salts of EDTA, funnel, conical flask, 250 ml conical flask, measuring jar, ammonium hydroxide buffer, waste water, measuring jar, once again, buffer and EBT indicator and a dropper. We are going to give unknown quantity of EDTA, that one you are going to take in 250 ml standard flask. Before transferring this salt to standard flask, you have to take weight of this bottle plus salt. Then afterwards you have to weigh this empty bottle, it is gives W2, W2 minus W1 gives the weight of the EDTA salt. Then for this you have to add 5 ml of ammonia. We are going to add ammonia for the faster dissolution of this salt. By adding little quantity of water, we are going to dissolve the salt. You can close the stopper also. then add the water up to the mark. Transfer the standard solution to the burette for the titration. When we are transferring that standard solution, we should give some air gap. So that solution will go easily to the burette. Now we are going to take 25 ml of hard water, to maintain the basic condition and to maintain the pH 10 we are going to add buffer. We are going to add 3 ml of buffer solution. Then two drops of aerochrome black tea. When we add aerochrome black tea, it reacts with calcium and magnesium salt and forms 
wine red color solution here it is going to make indicator metal ion complex this is somewhat unstable compared to metal ion and edta complex now we have to do titration the end point should be wine red to clear blue before starting this titration we should know we should adjust that meniscus to zero ETTA is going to react with indicator metal ion concent complex and it consumes the metal ions it's going to form EDTA metal ion complex it's a stable complex the color of the indicator is blue EDTA consumed all the metal ions from the EBT metal ion complex so this is the free indicator is liberated so you are going to get blue color so we have to note down the end point when we are doing estimation of hardness we have to do three trials there we have to get agreeing values if you are not getting agreeing values you are going to lose marks this is the most of the students will do the mistake in the examination if you are going to get error plus or minus 0.2 you are going to get full marks if you are add, going to add one drop excess means you are going to lose one mark we are going to take two trials that should have concurrent values means same values if you are going to add excess if you are not adding excess you are going to lose one one marks here students should carefully do the titration so if you are if they are getting agreeing value means then only they will get full marks out of what marks we already know that w that is w1 minus w2 you got 1.428 concentration of edta salt solution that is molarity of edta can be find by using this formula weight of edta dissolved in 250 ml into 4 divided by molecular weight of edta salt we are going to get molarity of edta 0.053 this molarity of edta we put here in the calculation part they have to find first molarity of calcium carbonate in hard water by using the formula molarity, molarity of edta into volume of edta consumed divided by volume of hard water we know that we have taken 25 ml of hard water and volume of edta is the concurrent value you are going to take which gives molarity of calcium carbonate as 0.01047 molarity grams of calcium carbonate per liter of hard water can be calculated by using molarity of calcium carbonate into molecular weight of calcium carbonate that is the answer that is 0.01047 into 100 gives 1.047 grams milligrams of calcium carbonate per liter of water or ppm can be calculated by multiplying the w in by with the help of 100 so it gives hardness of water the answer that is here we are going to get 1047 milligrams per liter or mg per dm cube or ppm of calcium carbonate equivalents students should write record in a manner that observation and calculation part should write in the left side and aim principle and procedure they have to write in the right side the record should contain name of the experiment aim principle and procedure the right side finally they have to write result then only they will get full marks what is standard solution molality molarity and the structure of edta why we are going to take disodium salt of edta what is hard water what is total hardness what is an buffer why we are using buffer which indicator we are going to add and how 
is hardness of water is expressed that is ppm of calcium carbonate these are all the usual questions we are going to ask in the examination